Hey guys, welcome back to Closet Raid. Today I'm here with Jen Che and I'm so excited. She has <laughs> such a fabulous, wonderful sense of style oh, and she has you. the cutest fashion vlog called From Head to Toe. And today we're gonna raid her closet. So this side is all me. This little section is my husband. This little top is so adorable. I love, I love the sheer mesh thing going I'm on right so now. I'm so into this trend, like the see-through sheer trend. Mm -hmm. oh, I love it. And then this one, it's like extra girly because it has some embroidery and a little peplum edge. And I also like that it fits kind of baggy. Mm -hmm. I'm all about that. And I love the color mustard right now. Oh, it's I know. Like my go-to. Me too. It's so cute. I think it just top. makes your face look really glowing. It makes me feel like it's summer. Like golden almost. Yeah. It's so pretty. I love this. So you have a lot of off-the-shoulder tops. I, I see. really love off the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm all about that. And it's really versatile because like this pink one, you know, it's one of those regular off-the-shoulder ones like this. But a lot of the times I'll do like a one shoulder thing. And nobody knows. Okay. Yeah, so it's like you feel you like you have up. a different kind of shirt. I love or that. You can wear you guys, she has like so many cute off the shoulder tops. I know, it's Is like that... basically the same thing but in black. <laughs> when you find something that works, get it in every color, right? What Definitely. is like one of your favorite trends of the moment? I love jackets. I'm a, I'm a big bomber jacket. Should we talk yeah. about this piece? We have to talk about that one. That one has a story, actually. Okay, tell me about this piece, because it's so, gorgeous. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite things ever. My friend works at opening ceremony. Okay. And she invited me to go to the fashion show that they had here in LA. It was like That's kind insanity. of a big deal. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. And I actually got to go to the opening ceremony store and pick something up to wear for the show. And so this is what I landed on. I and, love it. Uh, it's just the perfect color of blush peachy pink and even the fabric even the satin it has little roses in it the detail is just so pretty on it do you have like a go-to at the moment that you always pull out and like grab it has to be this section right here so like Rompers. these slip dresses oh this like slip they're dress. kind of big baggy easy to wear I have like the I denim. love the denim one let's show them how cute this denim one is I bet you can style this a million ways yeah and the thing is I've had it uh, I didn't even buy it this year. I bought it last year, but I've just been able to wear it so many times. Like I can wear it with a little bralette peeking out underneath, mm -hmm. or I can put on like a t-shirt and do the layered the thing. 90s. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm all about that. So cute, I love this. Do you have something in your closet that you never, never wear, but you can't get rid of it because of sentimental value or just you're attached to it? Okay. This is amazing. Tell me about this. So this is a navy blue matte floor length sequin dress. Skirt? Skirt. It's a skirt. <laughs> you could like do it as a dress with a belt. <laughs> it's a high-waisted skirt and then it kind of has this mermaid bell at mm -hmm. the bottom. So when it's on, it just looks so glamorous and like really like, hugs all of the curves and just like sweeps out at the bottom. Like old Hollywood almost. Oh, totally. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how I feel when I put it on. It's nothing, it, I feel like it has to be a fancy enough event to live up to the piece because yes. if I just wore it, whatever, yeah. it, it wouldn't yeah, you want it to be fulfilling. I love that you, you know. say that because I think that I have pieces in my closet and I'm like saving them. Special. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a dress. I've had this one for... I want to say maybe three years. It's been a while. Like I've had it for a while and I've worn it a ton. It's from Topshop. I love, I'm really short. You're short as I'm, well. I'm shorty. I'm shorty. <laughs> I love Topshop petites so, 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 so much. They get it right. They do and it fits fantastic. Mm -hmm. It just like in little pockets. It's so adorable. Everyone loves dresses with pockets. Really, <laughs> truly. And I think literally, yeah, every single time I wear this dress, tons of Instagram comments saying, where did you buy that? Where can I buy that? Have you heard of uh, Malibu Wine Safari? Yes. I wore this on that and it was too perfect. Okay, you're <laughs> literally, I love dressing like that, like situational, like you're like, oh, yeah. planning it out. And this was like probably the most iconic look that day. What is your most bougie, kind of over the top luxury item that you have. I have a little place in my heart for vintage Chanel purses. This color is so beautiful. This is 
Isn't this just insane? So this is a, a camera bag and it's Which is fitting. <laughs> sort of like mint green, really soft leather. I'm so sad because green, this kind of color, it stains so easily. Yeah, I know it does because it's so light, mm -hmm. but it's but so beautiful. This is sort of like the classic purses, which, but it's a little bit more tomboyish. Okay, I you know? feel that. Like it, it's a little bit more casual and it's such a tiny, cute little petite size. I love that it's like a square. Yeah, I love that it's not the typical yeah. style. It's a little bit unique and fun it fits and different. Me. It does. Like it's little. <laughs> and little I, and cute. it's so easy to wear. It just matches everything and yeah. Yeah. I so love that. That's like my fancy dinner bag. I love it. Like event, you just look, like throw it on and it'll go with everything. I know. And you're such a gold girl, so it's like perfect. I know. All of my well other than the mint green, all of my Chanel pieces are, are the gold, gold hardware. I love gold. My favorite. Me too. <laughs> I love that. Those are stunning. Oh, How I would you describe one, your personal style? You know, I would say I I like things that are feminine, but not too frilly and poofy. Yeah. You know, I like things that are kind of more streamlined, A-line, just because I'm so petite and narrow, I find that a lot of ruffles and billows tend to make me look like a child or... <laughs> just like drowning in really, fabric. Yeah, it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So I like, I like things that are a solid print. I love lace, I love mesh. This um, is so cute. This particular dress, I actually wore it uh, at my daughter's one year birthday party. Oh my gosh. So that's... I have a lot of photos of me wearing it. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> so beautiful. So this seems like a very simple knitted dress, but it means so much to me because um, I did this entire, basically like a, a year long partnership with Burberry last year. And this is the dress that I got to wear to the Burberry fashion show in London. That's and that was amazing. like one of the most incredible experiences of my life. And every time I wear this dress and I put it on and it's like such a soft material. It's so simple, but the cut is just the perfect. The fit is everything. Yes. And, and I so, love Burberry. That's so amazing that you got that opportunity. Oh, I know. It's, it's. It's still one of my favorite things that I've ever done. I look back on my career and I'm like, oh, highlight. That whole trip to London was like so special for me and my husband came too. And it was just so much fun. I, I have so that. many good memories wearing this dress. It's stunning. It's beautiful. The color, the cut, everything. What is your go-to like airport airplane outfit? Do you go over the top or you're kind of comfy? Um, so my go-to, it's, it's a uniform. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so I take a pair of leggings. These are like Lululemon, but the children's line, Eviva. I will pair it with like a white, like oversized t-shirt that has like a cool print, you know, yeah. or like graphic something. With a flannel. With a flannel. This is by Rails. So cute. They make the best softest flannels ever. This is so cute. They're so, I love so that comfy. it's just black and white too. That's, I love my monochrome. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It matches everything. And then I throw a leather jacket over the top. Because the key it. with airports is you have to be able to layer. So if you get too hot, you can take off some layers. You need to cold. adjust. You can use it as a blanket. And this leather jacket is really cute. I love this. Yeah. looks like distressed and like it just makes it look it's literally distressed because i've had <laughs> it for over 10 years but that's the best those are the best pieces it's because so lived in yeah lived in do you feel like your style has changed since you've become a mom honestly i went through this big weird fashion mental crises because your body changes so rapidly not just when you're pregnant and it's getting big and all of a sudden you can only fit in maternity clothes and then all the clothes in your closet they just sit around because you're like okay when i have my normal body back yeah. then we'll see because you don't <laughs> want to get rid of anything no. that you might still like and fit into afterwards well then nobody at least ever told me that afterwards you go through another whole process of your body 
going back. So right. I went through stages where I was like really curvy. I breastfed, so like I would have big boobs and like yeah, I know it changes. My waist was small, but then my hips got really <laughs> big, and you know. And then I was like, okay, this is going to be my new body. Should I like buy new, new clothes. jeans and yeah. stuff? So I bought like a pair of jeans. Literally one week later fell right off. <laughs> like they did not fit anymore. I didn't know, you know, I, yeah. I was just trying to make peace with myself. Right. Which is such a hard thing to do. I mean, for anyone, if you change sizes rapidly, it's it's like a mental trip. Yeah. But that just kept happening over and over and over and you, you sort of, and you just sort of lose who you are like your fashion identity like right. who you feel like oh this clo these clothes they represent me you know it, it was a whole cycle of constantly having to re-accept myself but not being able to wear things that made me feel good so then I had to do a huge closet purge because <laughs> I didn't identify with that person two years ago anymore Makes I'm a totally sense. different person now yeah even after your body stops changing, you still have to constantly go through re-accepting the new you Yeah. over and over and over. In the best way, I'm In sure. the best way. <laughs> what inspires your blog posts right now? Well, so I started off blogging like nine years ago and it was mainly um, beauty, but with a little bit of fashion, some like hair stuff, nail stuff, skincare. And then to, you know, contribute to the blog, that's when I started making YouTube videos. That just became this whole thing, you know, I, I switched a lot of my um, focus to be doing like YouTube videos and stuff. But I still have the blog and yeah. I'm still um, wanting to, you know, do a lot more on there, but I think I'm gonna focus a lot more with like being a mom and just you know my whole life of things because I've grown so much I love that in all of these years so one thing that I've done in the last couple of years is designing jewelry collections okay I love that and actually your jewelry today is so cute <laughs> literally almost everything I'm wearing I designed stop so like these earrings <gasps> here I designed these when I was actually pregnant with Aria in closet read tradition I have a couple questions to ask you mm -hmm. they're food and fashion questions sure. those are my two favorite things yeah. <laughs> chocolate or vanilla <laughs> stumped both? on the first one both I, li I like a good vanilla grilled chicken or fried chicken grilled designer or thrifted designer ice cream or chips ice cream <laughs> gold or silver obviously gold I like gold, but I, I love both, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. Twitter or Snapchat? Instagram stories. <laughs> Texting or talking on the phone? Talking in person. <laughs> shopping online or shopping at the mall? Online. <laughs> Black and white or color? Black and white. <laughs> Black and white all the time. So for this photo, I got to go to the store opening of a Sephora concept store on Newbury Street. And so I wore this dress that's so comfy and it's kind of like this crinkly fabric. So I just threw this sort of burnt orange bralette on and then I had the dress over that. This is Arya's first birthday party and I'm wearing a traditional Korean hanbok, which is just the traditional Korean dress. It's a very, very special occasion dress. You only wear it on certain really important times. Here's your cute little outfit. It's a safari the, dress. The safari. I love that. Yeah. And I love all your looks and I just want to say thank you so much for letting me oh, come into you your closet. Me. It's been so <laughs> much fun. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. So fancy. Look at your shoes. You're fancier than mommy outfit of the day. <laughs> I know.